Good morning. Got woke up at 5.30 by a bunch of crows. Uh, the cave is pretty nice actually right now. I am here in the laundry room getting the day started with chores. It is 10.40 a.m. Laundry's done, shower's done. Pretty much everything's charged up, ready to roll. Um, this outfitter does the darn tough stock, sock exchange apparently. And I've never actually put a hole all the way in the darn tough. Um, Cece was wanting to go exchange a pair of socks she had with the hole. As I put my socks on this morning, there was a hole. So I'm gonna go hope that they will do a sock exchange and uh, we're gonna get some food. I still need electrolytes at little grocery store we resupplied at. I did not have any electrolytes and I have none left. So we gotta walk into town, do some more of those errands. We're gonna eat some food and figure out how we gotta get back to trail. Since it's already almost 11, we're probably not gonna get on trail till early to mid afternoon today. So hoping we get in, I was hoping for a 10 mile day, but I don't know, we'll have to see what what time it is when we get there. All right, here we are walking back down, getting close to downtown. And we're about to find something to eat and go to the Outfitter. All right, so we just had food here at the Black Bear Diner. Mount Shasta is right behind us. And when I'm holding my hand, I got my sunglasses out. This is, this is like the fifth pair of glasses that I think I've had. I don't understand what's going on. They were broke in my my fanny pack when I get them out. So I guess I'm gonna keep them just like this for now because I guess we're leaving town. Um, we don't know how we're getting back to trail. It's 98 degrees. We don't want to go back to trail. We keep asking each other, well, "What do you want to do? What do you want to do?" And I think what it is, nobody wants to go hike right now because it's 98 degrees. But none of us don't want to be the one to say that we're gonna not so we keep trying to talk hollywood into getting a haircut but he keeps well, i don't really need one. Oh, I definitely need one. oh he needs one <laughs> who knows what we're doing we're gonna make it back to trail at some point today we just don't know what when or how all right the verdict is in we're walking towards the interstate to hitch um we were we're being forced to hike in the sweltering heat um, no, it's not bad. It is like right at 98 or 99 degrees. It is very hot, but we need to go hike. We need to get the miles, I guess. So that's where we're going. Okie dokie. So we walked up to the interstate. There's like a few cops up there. There's some like quasi, we're not really sure. We know you can't legally stand in a roadway to hitchhike in California, but you can stand off to the side. But we're also fairly certain you're not allowed to hitchhike on a freeway. And this is the I-5, which is a very busy freeway. So we call the shuttle. And the shuttler can't get us for like another hour and 15 or hour and a half. So we're walking back to some air conditioning somewhere like Starbucks or Burger King or somewhere and we'll just hang out there for a bit. We are back, back again on the trail. We got, we sat at Starbucks for a while. Ooh, our ride picked us up. It is now, I don't even know, probably 2.15 or 2.30. And we're gonna try to get some miles in. The guy said it's a little cooler here, but I think it's like 96 instead of 98. I'm not sure that, I don't feel any cooler, but who knows. It's a test day. Okay, so we are on a purple blaze right now, or a purple line and far out. The trail's closed for something in Castle Crag State Park. So there is a temporary, which, temporary reroute. And I think it became effective July 11th. So we have a two mile road walk. under the fives. 
<clears throat> Here they come, just a walking in the tunnel. You're a pretty good singer. <laughs> okay, so we went through a little campground. We first saw a setup we thought was trail magic. Looked just like it. Come to find out somebody was just camped on the PCT. So then we cut from the road, then the detour comes into a straight up hill, which I just did. And now we're on this nice trail here. Um, we're only gonna gain like two trail miles from this reroute, but I think the reroute is like three or three and a half miles. It is hot. Been going for an hour and a half, still on this detour. And I'm on like a forest service road, but this was the steepest, probably one of the steepest forest service roads I've ever seen. Um, we had to go from one, one road to the next, climbing the whole way. This first 10 miles out of town, or nine or so, were supposed to be not a whole lot of gain. And then if we stop there, start in the morning, we have like a third, long 3,500 foot climb. But we've been climbing for probably three miles or more already. So I don't know if this is uh, a different elevation profile, I assume. Uh, being it's a reroute. <sighs> Alright, that's the PCT where we would have come. So now we're back on PC tree, PCT Treadway. What in the world is this? There's been not one thing on this trail in kilometers until now. I don't even know what that means. It is a couple minutes before 7 p.m. I think we're gonna go about two more miles. And that'll get us right at the base of this big climb. CC is up in front of me, Hollywood's behind. So I guess we're stopping wherever she stops. Um, there is a place we're heading, but we don't know if there, how many people are going to be there. Um, judging by the crowds before we went to town, it could be full. In town, I've never seen so many hikers in any town. A local, which for a trail town, it's hard to believe a local doesn't understand that, that it's a PCT town. However, some locals asked us, what we were doing and with the backpacks and we told him we were uh, hiking the PCT. He said, I've never seen like anything like this. There are hundreds of you here. And he said, welcome. We appreciate you coming to Shasta and spending your money. So, um, I don't know. There could be tons, but we heard, have heard lots of people talking about skipping all this section. Um, we know because the shuttle driver had a logbook. There were several people we knew and didn't know that it shuttled back to the trail earlier in the day. The only two people we have seen since we've been on trail are Freebird and Vibes. And they were in the shuttle just before us in the logbook. Um, we've talked to them and been bouncing back and forth with them. And they are headed to the same place we are. So as long as no one else is there, we should all fit, according to the comments. But, who knows? I'm hoping that we're kind of between bubbles, leaving in the afternoon, hoping that everybody left in the morning will be ahead of us, and then hoping nobody else is coming in this evening. So, 
here's the hoping. You know what they say, want in one hand and poo in the other and see which one gets filled up first, right? Here's another angle. I assume this is the Castle Crags, but I don't know. All right, here's the big view of the day. We'll wait for it. All right, I am in my tent because the Skeeters are swarming out there. I'm gonna try this tent without the rain fly on tonight and see how I like that. I am used to the tent being the same, uh, both direct, like lengthwise, like the head and foot being the exact same. This tent, like the head is shaped bigger to accommodate like the bigger side of my sleeping pad and that. I put it up not really thinking about it because I'm not used to that. And now I have the little side up high. So that's a lesson learned. Um, Hollywood is right up there. I don't know if you can see him through the, the mesh. He um, has eaten dinner and he hasn't put his tent up yet. Cece's going to get up in the middle of the night. So she didn't want to wake us up. So she went somewhere just past us. Um, and we can hear her, and she was yelling and said, can you hear me? Um, I found a spot. So we don't know exactly where she is. I thought she was below us, but I'm hearing, like, um, noise, and I think she's above us. Now, I don't know where she is. She's somewhere with an earshot. Um, I don't think anything else really happened today. Just had been, got the chores done, and we got, oh, we got 10 trail miles plus that extra, like, two miles for that detour that added on. So we still got 12 in, so it is what it is. And that puts us, I think, 80, well, we got 10 actual trail miles in. So that puts us, like, 88 miles from the next town. So I'm going to go ahead and finish eating my dinner. And I'm having, like, mashed potatoes, stuffing, and gravy mixture. Um, and then call it a night. So have a good night, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow.